How to make a custom parametric curve ceiling panel. Let's start. Go to file. Let's create a new family. Uh, go to metric and select the metric generic model pattern base. Open. <coughs> select the grid. Let's change the horizontal spacing to 1000 and the vertical spacing to 2000. Okay. Next, select the reference point. <coughs> oh, let's change the scale. Select the reference point. Select draw on work plane. Set work plane. Pick this plane. Pick reference point. Set work plane. Pick this plane. Pick reference point. Set work plane. Pick work plane. Pick reference point. Set work plane. Pick work plane, set reference point. Cancel the command. Select all. <coughs> Filter. Check none. Check reference point. Okay. Go to offset. Pick the button. Create new parameter. Let's name this offset. Okay. Okay. Go to family types. Let's change the offset value to 500. Apply. Okay. Next, let's select these two reference point. Line through points, check reference line. Select these two reference point. Spline through points, check reference line. Okay. Next, select reference point. Pick Two reference point okay cancel uh, let's delete the two reference point okay reference point make sure you select draw on work on paste okay then pick reference point at the reference line okay pick two Okay. Okay, reference point. Next, <coughs> select this reference point. Go to measurement type. Change the normalized curve parameter to segment length. Okay, segment length. Pick the button. Create new parameter. And name this spacing. Okay. And let's go to family types. Let's change the value of spacing to 200. Okay. Select this reference point. Change the measurement type to segment length. Segment length. Uh, beginning change it to end then the segment length select the spacing okay okay <coughs> select this reference point measurement type segment length okay pick the button select the spacing okay 
select this reference point segment length then measurement from beginning change to end so then change this to spacing okay this reference point segment length then change to end pick the button and select spacing this reference point measurement type segment length okay pick the button select the spacing okay select the reference point measurement type segment length then pick the button select the spacing okay pick the button spacing so we have like a 200 millimeter offset from the side next select reference point set work plane set the vertical plane select uh, pick then pick reference point okay set work plane select the vertical plane okay pick reference point okay set work plane select the vertical plane pick and then pick the reference point set work plane select the vertical plane then pick reference point okay cancel select the four reference point go to offset pick the button let's create a new parameter and name this uh, overlap okay okay next select the family types no. uh, make it 400 millimeter okay next select this reference point the two reference point spline through points check reference line select these two reference point spline through points reference line next select these two spline through points reference line okay select these two spline through points reference line Okay, select reference point. Okay, select the draw on piece. Pick at midpoint. Pick at midpoint. Okay, pick one here. And pick one here. Next, select this two reference point go to normalize curve parameter pick the button let's create a new parameter and name this ncp overlap okay okay go to family types Let's change the parameter, uh, the value to NCP to 0.2. Okay. Next, let's make this 0.7. Okay. Very good. Okay. Next. Um. Uh. Select these two reference point, spline through points, check reference line. S 
select these two reference point the spline through points reference line next select spline through points oh no select these two reference point spline through points reference line select these two reference point spline through points reference line check reference line okay now select the reference point pick at midpoint pick at midpoint <coughs> okay now select spline through points Uh, select reference point pick at midpoint pick at midpoint now select the spline through points pick at this reference point this reference point this reference point and this reference point cancel the command select the spline check reference line spline through points pick at this reference point pick then pick here and pick cancel the command select the spline check reference line okay next select this reference point and this reference point spline through points check reference line okay select this reference point these two reference point spline through points check reference line okay now select the spline and the two reference line okay create a form <coughs> select the form okay select the form go to positive offset pick the button create a new parameter and name this thickness okay okay go to family types select the thickness change this to 200 okay Uh, make it 50 millimeter okay next the spacing let's make it 100 okay this the offset from the side the spacing let's change the height to 300 millimeter <coughs> okay Okay. Okay. Now select the form. Let's go to material and finishes. Select the button. Let's create a material parameter. Let's name this panel finish. Okay. Go to family types. Let's select the materials. Uh, go to material library select okay select the material library Chris material library and select uh, let's select some wood color okay let's try the maple Okay. Let. Okay. Let's just um. Let's change this to. Wood cherry. Okay. 
Okay. Next, uncheck shared. Then, save the family. Go to desktop and save this to custom curb ceiling. Curb ceiling panel. Save. Okay. Load into the project and close. Okay. Next. Let's create. Uh, turn on show mask. Let's create an in place mask for the ceiling. Let's create a surface. Select the work plane. Pick a plane. Okay. Let's pick this reference plane. Let's go to south elevation. Okay, let's select the spline through points. Uh, let's uh, check draw on work plane. Let's draw the profile for the ceiling. Okay. Next, cancel. Go to 3D view. Select the spline. Eat the form. Okay, let's make this bigger. Okay, select the surface. Let's move the surface. Okay, let's move the surface. Let's change the graphic display to shaded. Select the surface. Divide surface and let's change the U grid number to 6 and the B grid to 6. Okay, select the pattern, select the pattern, the custom curb ceiling. <coughs> okay, next, all grid rotation to 90. select the panel go to edit type okay let's change the spacing to 0 0.05 okay the thickness okay the overlap let's change this overlap to 0.10 okay next the offset let's make this point two okay now you have the custom parametric curved ceiling panel thank you